equipment or every establishment concerning this slave trade. But apart from this, if not, they cannot fail to demolish them. They have to use the place for other activities. Therefore, they ask uh, uh, fathers and pastors to go to these regions where the slavery was begun, so that they can teach them Christianity and even uh, the Occidental uh, uh, civilization. Then on uh, uh, 27th uh, January 1852, they have sent uh, some uh, 13 uh, royal king on which uh, it will make a message of abolition to all of the kings around the coastal region here. Therefore, three of these uh, kings were okay, given to the Togo land, but in that time to Togo was not uh, baptized Togo. Then one uh, was going to Bledi Kingdom, one to the town called Mufok, and one to the city called Porto Seguro, formerly there today called Abudrafo. When talking about uh, Porto Seguro, it was a Portuguese name given to this place when the Portuguese arrived here for the first time. So where they were to other ports before, they are goods were destroyed, even themselves were physically disturbed. Then when they arrived here, they asked to have the security surround themselves in the hand of the these uh, locality authorities. So they have this uh, security. Because of that, they give the name to the town here. Of the the slave house, we are here just port. explaining to us what happened here before so we go and visit the house. So when I was house. talking about the arrival of the Christian established and in the 1800s in the town here. It was to in keep the, the year 1846 when some uh, uh, Methodist pastors uh, arrive in the town here by uh, celebrating their first ma mass. Then, then after uh, 15 years, uh, in, the, in the year 1895, we receive the Catholic, pa uh, Catholic fathers in this house. When they settle down or they, they okay, when they accommodate, when coming here or before coming here, they brought uh, uh, Jesus Christ when they put at the top of this building to, to make sure that the building is not used now for the slavery but transform itself to, into Christianity. Then recently, when he was informed to the general director of UNESCO, Mr. Koishiro Matura, came himself in this house also to touch this uh, historical uh, matter of uh, concerning Togo on uh, 14 uh, February 2007. And was connected with the celebration of uh, 200 years anniversary of uh, the abolition of slavery. Mm. Then when he was here, he has put this memorial there to make, to put something concerning or to, to make sure all of the weather that he passed here that day. Therefore, when you see this building, the architecture is called Afro-Brazilian. It means the plan is coming from Brazil. Then we have the upstairs and down, down uh, place. But the down place is used by the slaves and the upstairs is used by the slave traders. So where they get the slave from? The slave were kept from the northern part of the Togo here especially in the town called Sokoden Chamba. Some of them also were kept from Atapa, Meloche, Tado, and those from uh, the Mono Valley. They gathered them in the market called Blokosi, at the village we called Pupo, at the back of the lake, where they were sold. After selling them, they take them across the lake to the small village last year we call Pesi, not far from Obed uh, or uh, Lake Inn. Then they ask them to walk in the arrow parts in the forest formerly called Alimana. We give the name uh, Nimana to this village today. And at the beach side of this village, we can see the well, which was called um, Slave Well, and locally that of At this well, they have to take their last African bath. So for the white men, it was a purification bath. 
which means that the Africans might clean off their um, uh, their tiered matters or their um, sweating before coming reaching their countries. So when they were taking this path, they obliged them to walk seven times around this well, which means a special ritual so that they can be confused in their mind, they cannot remember the way to their home where they were escaped. Then after they take all of them here where they were back in this asylum. So when they, they arrived here too, they asked them to walk as a goat because they couldn't walk normally like we do to this entrance under the foundation. They have to crawl before enter them. So when they enter there, they couldn't be up also. They have to sit down or they have to sleep inside. Because the height of the cellar is almost 1 meter and 25 centimeters. Which means like the shelf of the, you know, the sheep in the former time. So they were made in the condition, first condition here. They, they learned from here how to make themselves during this journey in the sheep. And that time to the uh, tourists were access to their position. They have their bed ready smooth on which some night they took some of the women when they know what is going on that day. So they are going to continue to the to the building where you, you enter and you see what you're supposed to come and see here. So I want to show you here, this is uh, the program these American people follow before coming here. They started their journey on uh, 30th May uh, 1998 to end it on 31st May 1999, where they were in this house in that, uh, on this year. They, they have made one year trip or one year journey to make sure they can find their roots mm. by calling this journey the retracing the journey of slavery. They started from here, New Orleans, where we have another slave market in USA. Because after selling the slave in Africa, them they gathered them in the market there in New Orleans where they sold them to. Then uh, these people came also to Trinidad and Tobago. They continue to Brazil, they come to uh, Senegal, or oh, where we have the Goria Island. Then they continue, and they arrive in Togo here on April. And then they continue, and then end their journey at Cape Town in South Africa. This is uh, the, the list of the, the panel of the place they visited. Later on, you can read over. So this is the picture of the last, uh, the last ship who supposed to lay with slave here. Miraculously uh, fell in the sea, not far from the town here. So people rushed and, rush and get all of these materials from it. Then we have it in the town here, which uh, testify that something ha happened before. So after the slave trade, uh, when uh, in the year uh, 1865, uh, some uh, French company came back in the town and established uh, any uh, another uh, commercial activity in the town here. In this pot, uh, they used to cook palm oil to make a cosmetic in France. Uh, and this company was called uh, Regis and Fabre, and uh, their headquarters was uh, in Marseille, in France. They still working now, up to now. <coughs> so uh, all the rest of the photos are concerning the place we are going to visit now. Donc je disais tout à l'heure que voilà l'histoire de cette maison a été longtemps oubliée et voilà.